Starting your day off with a take on Vegas you won't get anywhere else. Hi, I'm Holly Madison. Hi, this is William Shatner. It is Larry the Cable Guy, and I listen. Why? Because I'm a good American. So is he. And if you don't listen to him, you need to pack up and leave this country. This is the Vegas Take with Sharp and Shapiro. Welcome all again! Oh, yeah. What's up, everybody? It is Monday. It is Vegas Take Time. Welcome to Sharp and Shapiro. Glad you could join us. A very busy weekend, so plenty to go over today. Chris Wynn also in studio. As Back in does. the bird's nest, as usual, on yes. a Monday. As he does every yes, Monday. Yes, the bird's nest. The bird's <laughs> nest. I like that. So a lot to go over, a lot to get to. It's been a fun weekend of football. Uh, not so fun for UNLV. We'll get to that later. Uh, also, what a finish to the Las Vegas Aces basketball game. Uh, privileged to be able to be at that game because it was a lot of fun. It was probably one of the most exciting finishes in WNBA playoff history. I think that's fair to say. So we'll talk about that a little bit coming up later. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a really good spirited debate. As you know, the Vegas take is not afraid of good spirited debates. And this is no different. Republican Nevada State Senator Keith Picard will be coming in studio. He is against red flag laws. Really, he's against most prop, you know, gun legislation. Uh, and he says he said on the record that education is more important than guns. Uh, so we're going to ask him about that. Going to talk to him about that. He's going to be coming in studio coming up in hour number two. And, of course, plenty to get to, as I mentioned, in the sports world. And we'll go over everything that took place, including even the Vegas Golden Knights uh, were in action yesterday. So we'll talk all about that coming up later in the program. But I want to start with this because, you know, this is, I would call it tragic. You know, what else would you call it? We've lost a couple pretty famous people, uh, great musicians uh, in the in the rock legend world. These are two rock legends. We start with the cars. This just happened, you know, a few days ago. Uh, Rick Ocasek. We all know Rick Ocasek yes. from the cars, right? We love the cars. I mean, you know, unless you're a millennial, you have no idea who the cars are. One of the most influential bands, I think, out there. Uh, a lot of bands today looked up to these guys. And Rick Ocasek, uh, dead. You know, I... I he was, he was not an old man by any no. stretch of the imagination, um, but really sad. And then a few days before that, we hear the sad news of a guy that I saw in Las Vegas just a few years ago. Eddie Money used to perform in Las Vegas all the time. Yeah, Eddie Money was a legend. Yes. And I, I, I've seen him at the Orleans. I've seen him everywhere. And uh, we lost him as well. Of course, Two Tickets to Paradise, one of my favorites. Right? But he's got so many great hits. Um, and he was fantastic. So really sad, really sad to, to, to hear about both of them. And I read this article because now people are talking about, look, you guys got to get used to this stuff. This article came out. A lot of these guys are, are sadly, are gonna, we're going to be losing them very soon. These guys are not getting any younger, right? Bob Dylan is 78 years old. Now, maybe Bob Dylan will live to 120. I don't know. But, uh, you know, Paul McCartney, who just did a... I, don't, I cannot believe how much energy Paul McCartney has at 70, 77 years old. But he, he's on stage for like three hours at the T-Mobile a few weeks yeah. ago. Uh, Paul Simon, 77, Art Garfunkel, 77, Keith Richards, 75, Mick Jagger, 76, you know, Pete Townsend, 74, Neil Young, 73. You get the point. Eric Clapton, yeah. 74. A lot of iconic figures, right, guys, from the late 60s to the 70s to the 80s, right, in music are getting to the age where it's going to be. Look, we, we make, obviously, it makes headlines when younger stars pass away like chris cornell like you know chester bennings and people like sure. that but that's usually drug young. overdose or right. suicide you, yeah. you understand the point i'm trying to make is that yes they are getting to an age where you know it, uh, natural causes is going to well, be the here, issue here, here's for a passing question away. what can we do to stop it well there's nothing well, you can do to stop a, stop <laughs> old age i mean you can't you know. stop, jd you can't <laughs> stop passing away from nat natural causes yeah, we're not know, talking so. about we're not talking about mass shootings we're just talking about people right, dying of right. old age exactly sadly people people yeah. get old and and they die Unfortunately, it just makes people and, like and, and Paul McCartney and, and others there's... get nervous, you know, because well, they see their, well, but, their counterparts you know, if, passing if, away. If Paul McCartney can go on stage for three hours and perform, mm -hmm. then obviously his body is in decent physical shape. I yeah. think, Mick that, Jag, I think, I think Mick that he'll Jagger, be around Steven for a while. Tyler, guys like that, right, yeah. who are up there along yes. with these people. Sure. Uh, what, but, what is Steven Tyler, like 64, 63? He's up there. He's definitely around that. Yeah, he's up there. around that age. Maybe close to seventy. Yeah. But uh, anyway, our condolences to the families. Of course, uh, Cars lead singer Rick Ocasek 
and Eddie Money. I, I'll be honest. I, you know, I like the Cars. I never, I never saw Okasik in concert, uh, but I've seen Eddie Money in concert. He puts on a fantastic. Well, show. your age group, Brian, is right on the edge of the fandom with that group. Right. That that's more along the lines of my age group. You know, the, the people born around 1970. Sure. So sure. He, that is where Rick Okasik. So the Cars we, were huge, like late 70s, yes. early 80s. So sad, but you know, two guys that have had wonderful careers and mm-hmm. they were able to do for the most of their life that they enjoyed, and that was making music, and they did a great job at it. 